of this question uh, who, who is uh, or what is a token engineer <laughs> and how <laughs> right because uh, uh the crypto economics flower and as we see it it, it really covers everything and right? then you come from one or more backgrounds and and uh, look at these well <clears throat> techno economics or institutional protocols that uh, people develop and and participate in of course <laughs> right. we're going to have uh yeah have a lot of <clears throat> or, or yeah i mean token engineering is uh, really becomes mm, something pervasive i don't know how what is your experience um uh, Where you're active. Mm -hmm. As funny you mentioned it, has just mentioned something about a minimum viable engineer in MVE. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> sounds like something that we probably sh could implement to start thinking about what that actually means. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's daunting, of course, to try to you know, apply for that title in, in a way. Um, when there's, like you say, the crypto economic flower is, has so many overlaying layers to it that that Venn diagram is, um, you know, exceptional. And, and yeah. Yeah. oh, it's what what how many of those layers defines you know, the, uh, an acceptable mm. acceptable person to consider these topics. And you know, he, he uh, Durgatis is uh, uh, one of his. Uh, complaints was or points made was that uh, uh, the TE, uh, the practicing token engineers, and perhaps even the stewards um, have uh, not participated significantly enough in the cultural uh, aspects. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I mean, also for. Um, I don't know, for many um, of us, two years ago, and I guess for many who are just joining in now, this cultural aspect is quite new. You get drawn into this by, you know, uh, le less trust, more truth, or, or uh, don't trust, verify, you know, this type, or, or do your own research, this type of, uh, calls for independence or calls for freedom, right? But then when when you are in it, <laughs> or even when you take some time to think through it and you're a clear thinker, uh, you, you realize that, um, well, you, even the code is made by humans, <laughs> sure. right? Uh, and and that, alo that alone requires coordination, et cetera, and you can have a very strict protocol, but still there's, always this human layer. Um, even if you look at Bitcoin Core, for example, you would have that. <clears throat> and of course, the more expressive uh, these uh, contracts are, or this, this, this code is, and the, the more possibilities you have around organization coordination, um, yeah, the, the more aspect of this crypto economics flower you, you cover not just cryptography and game theory right? Right. Uh, that's quite interesting and uh, as mentioned like for me token engineering comments especially lydia soft gov praise you know these were all the all the soft governance aspects that that came in and really opened up a new dimension uh, for myself i, I know interestingly most of token engineering comments uh actually come from this background so you know anthropology political economy <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, or even psychology right so so maybe that's new to you <laughs> uh, no that's not new to you or not news to you um but yeah it definitely opened up something for me and is is i'm not, i'm not sure how to think of that in terms of is that is that a weakness or a strength i maybe it's not either maybe it's just a fact but um yeah there's a lack of of technical participation and a i don't want to say a, an over but a, a wealth we'll say of social and cultural participation 
Well, I think it's the balance, right? And that's uh, mm-hmm. basically what we what we get at at Omega. You know why we have this uh, crypto economics flower and then dissect this. This is engineering heavy, and these are the humanities, right? But it's really about <clears throat> merging as much as possible, and that's of course a big. Uh, Challenge and opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a stretch for for your mind <laughs> <laughs> and capacities, right? Hey, Mike. Um, hey, Mark. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. How are you guys? Good, good. I think we're gonna have either a short session. I actually. I uh, also wasn't uh, supposed to be here, but then we have a situation uh, at, at home, so I'm <clears throat> I'm in Munich. And um, yeah, but uh, Lydia, uh, she wanted to join and clarify some more questions that she had around the research. Yeah, and, I, uh, I texted her actually. Okay. <laughs> She didn't respond. <laughs> Maybe she just missed. Let me send a like bumper. Hey, okay. Let's... What is a bumper message? So yeah. I, I guess I'll drop off and let seven let right. some, yeah, take care of her husband and you know, let you guys all try to listen in next week when there's meeting. Yeah, uh, yeah, next week we should be back to normal and then again not normal when there's East Paris. Uh, <laughs> always oh. another one. Yeah, yeah, and, and the week of the 18th. But next week should be back uh, uh, a little normal. Okay. okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, ma'am, will you be in East Paris? Um, yes, on the 18th, we have, um, we were given this crypto carbon ecosystem event, gathering some people together around, uh, you know, the topic of um, our, our ability to directly mint carbon credits and, and oh. well, we put so- them our own marketplaces. Is it on main event? Like I will be in it Paris as well. I, I will when when are you it. arriving? Uh, on eighteenth. Eighteenth. Okay, I'll send you the invite. Um, oh, super! Like it will be then... nice to meet with you after a year. <laughs> That's true. It's always you know I never uh, uh, realized you know for for me it's always I know people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, there's a strange moment, like uh, five fleeting seconds or so, but actually, uh, well, th- there's always this connection. I don't know. Um, yeah, so basically, as mentioned, I think I'm, um, I'm also getting uh, a bit uh, sick. <laughs> I oh. think we will go through this now. Um, and uh, okay, but then I'm back back in order, hopefully in two weeks. Um, yeah, so uh, you you had mentioned that you have put together the Excel file for the payouts and so on um, for token engine considered. <laughs> yeah, I just put like uh, 70% for everybody. Just de- like deduct $100 for us, so maybe we can mm-hmm. hire somebody for a part-time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, so because um, we need some people to do like for example like for the wireframes like yeah. i'm not an expert designer exactly. i just know product <laughs> management and i know i watched a lot of figma design so i can do it some yeah. but since yeah. now no, it's no, so no. cluttered like it 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 may need like no, lots no. of hours of mine and i'm not the expert of it so maybe we need to find exactly. somebody that can help Exactly, and and actually, um, that's one thing I wanted to talk as well. Um, basically, I've been working with Magic Powered for quite some time now, and they're <clears throat> really, really good. Um, and actually, also quick. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, I probably cannot share again, but let me try. <clears throat> 
Um, Have you seen the proposal inverter article? The last one you shared? Yeah, like uh, I mentioned, I cited Stafford Beer. Probably you will like a oh, lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need I to catch up. I was so under underwater uh, ever since. Like a, a week ago, we, we started the soft launch, and then you're out there, and you have to constantly fix stuff. Uh, and then all these COVID things happening and so on. So I'm sorry I didn't catch many. No, but no, I no, not to say sorry. Like, let me send you by personal message. Please, please share. Uh, here we go. And I share, I try and share my screen. <clears throat> wait, wait. Um, here we go. Like, this is, I don't know, but all of a sudden I realized, hey, the, the style uh, that Steph made, you know, <laughs> With the, with, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, with, with our matrix line. Yeah. Right. So uh, it, it's quite funny. Um, That's cool. But the, uh -huh. their magic card is super fixed. And, uh, you know, they, uh, especially Max, but they really get um, to the core or, or get the get get the essence of what we want and i believe that uh, you know um what we want from token engineering conscience library really is i don't know you know this is just the not normal website but from the way uh so have you see you said soft mm -hmm. launch for free leo Oh no 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 no! Freelio is uh, old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, I know the it's like is from... for for Unity Crypto. Um, let me stop uh, sharing. Unity Crypto. Um, that's the solar as a service business that is looking into getting. Wait a second. Let me get my camera. They're they're looking into uh, opening up. Um, the, their solar project as um, yeah, so that Web three um, participants can also directly invest in, in in solar project and get the one aspect is not only get the revenue shares of those uh, projects but also the carbon credits that those projects are minting, and because they're so small scale and and many. Uh, you know, Energy has never done anything with the carbon credits, <laughs> so that's uh, that's uh, yeah, that, that's a start. And then basically, the idea is how are we going to connect with the current carbon um, pools and protocols? Is there a possibility, or is it still too, you know, too small in a sense? You know why they go for megatons uh, yeah. and established companies but uh, as always uh, you know there is always the possibility um, to start distributed and small and it's not that small because see, they've yeah, been around for since 2005 uh, 15. Um, anyways so that's oh. that and, and then uh, I'll show you more on uh, on Monday okay so um, and then back to you know, uh, back to design development. I mean, magic part, they could do it quick and they know, uh, they, they work with, or Max is also an uh, ex-lawyer in complexity science. Um, and he's been also collaborating since the beginning with, with block science and so on. So he's in, in, in the deep end and they can really capture the essence you know but not saying okay we're just going to make a simple website and then be done with it but i think we can you know what what's now letty satori streamer d within the vacuum staff and so on every all of these aspects that are really hard to grasp but i don't know if you see it but there is definitely a wonderful connection that you have this narrative and so on right that is something Okay, I need to describe, or, or we need to describe it uh, a bit more. Right, right now it is um, in, in separate uh, areas, but what I do is I'll get that and put it into a design spec. And that's basically our explanation of what is important to us, like the, the navigation, the game uh, part, and what they can you know, uh, brush over. 
And what they do then, uh, they come back with a technical uh, design spec and um, we have at least one back and forth and then they can pretty quickly implement. Um, That's amazing. That, that would be cool, I think so. And then we're basically done and it is within the token engineering community, like people who've been active here. So, um, and I guess, you know, I don't think that they will, I, I will ask, I don't think that they will need um, additional funds for the proposal. If we have something, I mean, I would I would prepare or, or put something aside for them just so that they can add some technical aspect to the proposal and i think we will have a really good uh proposal for the implementation and okay. um yeah and with with all of the content that we covered uh that is another thing maybe that they could do uh really have a high fidelity mock-up mock let's see normally they don't like it's it would be around 6k um let's see what they what you know uh, if they can do something or... Yeah, we will say we are poor open source projects. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but uh, actually, I mean, Ravi, they've been. Uh, oh yeah, they designed the the initial common stack simulator as well. So they've been around for a long time. Okay, okay let's see. Like, and, yeah. So I think that that is definitely for from my side. I would say, okay, I'm mean, not <laughs> not not worried at all anymore. Um. In a sense, um, it's just important that we put it together such that you know uh, people see our intention. You know what is this? What do we mean by value of uh, transdisciplinarity? It's clear, but value of um, connection and the value of novelty. I think those two aspects we need to explain a bit more. What I would call harvest then should be fine. Um, Super. And the other thing is the token engineering uh, ethics research. Uh, you you ask what is the source of abundance, <laughs> uh, and, and that the source of abundance is you know uh, something like uh, you know Lydia and and Felix coming in and they are actually want to do a research. Right. Yeah. So it's it's already on their on their plate. So and if they can uh, number one, uh, basically those two contributions or our need and their contributions literally meet, uh, we can provide good focus groups. Meaning we reach out and we get the people together who can uh, share a lot of insights that would be from our side. Um, and from their side, basically, it will be really conducting the focus group and so on and so forth. And I don't know, like, you are also quite interested, right? Because that's also your background or yeah. current research or how do you see like, that? I'm not currently working on this kind of social science research, but I used to work lots. Uh, like, before Web3, draining my whole time, uh, I was working on those kind of things. I just sent you a book if you want to take a look. It's a very interesting one. It, it, it's called four features so it's covering four feature possibilities so two oh, yeah. of them like if we create abundance and if we have hierarchical societies what will it be look like and if we create abundance and if we create non-hierarchical societies how it will look like and if we couldn't create an abundance if we live in still in scarcity what will be the hierarchical society look like and what will be the non-hierarchical but it's a peter fraser like very good this book is from mm -hmm. Verso, like quality book. Peter Fraser is like a good author. Like, I love very young, it. Very young, but very, very nice to read. Like lots of pop culture references as, as well. Wow, wow. It says uh, an exercise in public thinking as, as a political act, charting courses for movement builders. <laughs> you may, take, <laughs> you may like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. John, thank you. The, thank you. Yeah, one last thing I want to say. I, I actually mm -hmm. wrote an article back then in school about how Germany's position in European uh, Central Bank dominated Greece's currency structure, so they failed in the European crisis. So I kind of con tried to connect it with the cryptocurrencies and how the national banks are doing the same thing to the local communities. So, for example, yeah. like 
if you are if you are Germany, you are powerful in European Central Bank, and you decided for the inflation uh, target and like the debt ratio of the countries. But when if when you think about Greece's economy, it's it's depending on lots of uh, in outside intake. But Germany is surplus economy, so it, yeah. the low inflation uh, benefit Germany much more than the Greece and hurt Greece. But since Greece is subject to euro, they cannot inflate their money. So. Like I take this relationship and explain how this caused Greece's problem in the 2010, and mm -hmm. maybe we can tinker around this example, like a case study, how the national banks is doing the same thing to local communities, and how the crypto and local currencies can be such an alternative to this. I try to roll Some something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to mm -hmm. send if you have time. Like I know these times are busy, but if you want to take a look, I'm not really sure if it is kind of. Suitable to crypto space because it's too much political science. Yeah, but, like, I thought so. <laughs> but I would, I mean, get it out there, and then also you never know how things connect. You know, um, that's me. In I see in crypto comments, there's a lot uh, of also political um, discourse around. You know, crypto comments. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like, yeah, yeah. So um yeah I would I would definitely share it more widely if I were you. Um, okay, let me try. Like I'm kind of hesitant, but I will yeah, do some no, review. No, and... no, definitely. And and for for these things, you really need to uh, find uh, the, the 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 tribe, if you will, like those people who will understand uh, the where you're coming from, the background, and maybe. Uh, help you uh, put it more in, in uh, crypto um, crypto economics terms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and I thought I thought of Crypto Commons uh, Association as uh, as the group that has more of those background thinkers, definitely. And also, uh, I don't know, uh, Jaromil, uh, do you know him? I don't know. The last no, article, but... it was I, I sent you a couple of things. We were in an accelerator in the European one that they did. Uh, and I uh, got to learn about uh, Dine and so on. Very, very impressive. Um, yeah, but I'll definitely again, take a look. Yeah, I'll share with you and then. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, um... Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Literally, I don't know how you do it, but I always manage to get get things done. So thank you, Matt. Uh, and I hope it's okay with uh, with the um, uh, communication and the stewards uh, group. If there is anything you need from me or more information, etc. If you want, you know, more support, don't hesitate to ping me. Okay. 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 Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day. Take good care. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.